Hello everybody and welcome back to Academiopolis, where we currently have fairly hefty industrial demand and we've got a space to put it right here. We're going to go for offices because they don't produce pollution and I'm just going to go through and plant this entire mini meta block here. I mean, I could use the drag tool, but I don't know, there's something more satisfying about the fill tool. I don't know what it is. But there we go. There's that area. Hello. That's the problem with the fill tool. <laughs> Sometimes you miss little areas like that. But that should deal with that for a little bit. Let's just make sure they have water, and indeed they do, except for right here. We'll potentially need to connect this line up like that. And we may as well connect this one as well. There we go. Fantastic. Now, back to what we were doing up over here. We were making this harbor a bit of a reality. And I'll just keep an eye on this and see how much this satisfies this demand. So, we could definitely use another road maintenance depot up in this direction. You can see that we're definitely struggling to reach some of these areas. So I think we'll go ahead and put a road maintenance depot down. They don't do any pollution, so that's fine. We'll just plop it down right here will be perfect. And that will maintain some roads out over here. Look at that. Fantastic. Now, there's still this over here that isn't getting very maintained, but it is what it is. And there's some stuff over this direction that could be more maintained and up over here. But overall, we're doing pretty well. Now, we do need to get some water and power over here. We can just run a power line like so and continue our water line under this road. And that should do the trick. Excellent. Now, as far as our harbors up here go, we're going to need to deal with Elizabeth Street. That's going to need to be changed, because currently we just have two commercial cargo hubs. And I do want two passenger hubs as well. Our international airport isn't getting a lot of use. Our cargo hub, however, at least was getting a ton of use. We were shipping out via air constantly, although now... I believe that a lot of that has been taken by shipping out via ship. Which is excellent. And also, this dealt with our industrial support pretty well. Or industrial demand, rather, pretty well. So we've still got this meta block and this meta block to develop. And all this space out over here to work on. But for right now, I'm much more focused on this over here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some curved roads up over this direction. And I think I just want to curve this road in like that. Excellent. And then inside of the curved roads, we are going to be just gridding it up. So we're just going to take these roads out like so. This is going to be a pretty sharp corner unless I change this. And I'd kind of rather it not be super duper sharp. That's a little bit better. And then we just connect that in like that. And then we grid up the inside here and fill this in with ports. We're going to need to redo this section of road as soon as we have our two ports in here. And actually, this isn't connected up. Hang on. I thought for sure that was connected up. There. Now it is. Fantastic. And then we need to decide how we're going to zone this in here. Now, I think we should have it be like... Oh, hello. We've got some flooding down over here? Oh, that'll be a potential issue, actually. Um, where is... I know there's a service for dealing with flooding. I've used it before. Pumping service. This is the one. Okay. So, we would then need to put the pumping service somewhere over this direction. Maybe, like, mm, it's a little too wide to fit here, actually. 
Maybe we would want to put it somewhere like here. I mean, we don't currently have the money for it, but we will. We do now. So we would put it there, and then we can just rerun this power line like that. And we need to connect it directly to the water grid. Where is our water pipes? Here we go. Okay, it connects there. So we would just Geologists do... Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Where is it? Where is this sinkhole? Yeah, but where? I have no idea where this sinkhole is. But this is our first disaster. The wait is over. It's finally here. Friday night chili bowling at Andy's bowling alley. Every Friday night, I guess we'll see. At least two games of bowling gets a free bowl of and I guess the so reason don't why I now. don't maybe Do know is because I haven't done much with... I mean, we've got a disaster response unit, but I haven't done too much with the uh, warnings. Earthquake sensor, tsunami warning buoy. We might actually want to get some tsunami warning buoys. Like, one over here. And, like, something like that. Let's get some tsunami warning buoys. That's weather radar, deep space radar. Okay. Well, that way we won't be surprised by tsunamis, hopefully. Okay, here's the sinkhole. That's not bad. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. That's perfectly fine, actually. And we, I believe, have some soil that we can just fill it in. Okay. Whether you Problem solved. An old phone or just leave it on vibrate, Fantastic. We, make sure you always hear your we have a dead person control. awaiting transport it's here. We, we should you. maybe so don't be place a... Uh, it it's for you. We should maybe place a crematorium up over here. Let's see, crematorium is this one. We need some money. So let's get a little bit of money here, and then we'll place down this crematorium. Look at all those trucks. They're all using this road right now, but there will be future roads. Just need one more money tick here. There we go. Fantastic. Now we do need to get those ports in ASAP. The question is, do we want to have any more than the four harbors here? And I feel like we kind of don't. I'm pretty sure that's going to be sufficient. This road, however, is pretty clearly not sufficient. Can we build here? Yes, we can. Okay, good. We're going to need to definitely zone this with something. But we also definitely need to get additional roads up over this direction. And I'm just going to take this road up to here. And then we'll just have to bend it out like that a little bit. We did destroy our... Uh... We can't connect into these roads like that. That's a little awkward. That's actually quite awkward, that we can't connect into these. We can only connect in at the ends. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, we can do that. And then I suppose we could take this up to, say, here. And do something like that. That would be viable, theoretically. Now we've got a bit of a bridge going on here. I would prefer that we did not. Take this to there, and then we get sloped too steep. We could maybe... There we go. Perfect. 
Now this is a bridge as well. Once again, I would prefer that it not be a bridge. Okay, we can build it to there. And then that's a tunnel. I guess that'll have to do. Okay, and then this I believe is going to become... Actually, it didn't become a tunnel. Okay. That's neat. Then connect that in kind of like that. Well, now we have a few more routes up over here. That should help deal with the congestion. We're going to need to fill this in. Very much so. And we can start with doing something along the lines of this. I really want to uh, get rid of this tunnel, though. And let's just smooth this terrain a little bit. See if we can't get this directly over. Kind of like that. There we go. That works. We've got some uh, nonsense going on here. And we've got a bridge right here that I didn't notice. Let's just see if we can smooth this a little bit. That should hopefully make that doable. Fantastic. This is a bridge. I'd prefer it not be a bridge. There we go. Excellent. Now, as we add our horizontal roads over here, things are going to get interesting. Like, overall gridding all of this is going to be very interesting indeed. Let's just go ahead and use the soften tool with the biggest brush we've got on the highest strength we've got. And we'll just try to smooth this island out a little bit. I'm not too concerned about keeping this mountain intact. And we're out of money. Okay, we're going to need to go ahead and run time forward while we're doing this so that we keep our money coming in. But there is a lot of stuff over here that does need to be smoothed. There's no doubt about that. Okay. I want to keep the general shape. We may need to redo, in particular, this road. So let's rerun this. Yeah, that's much better. Excellent. Well, that should help a substantial amount. So let's continue getting this up over here. Of course, we do have our power that broke. I'm just going to go ahead and run this like so. I believe that'll connect it. Yeah, that'll connect. Excellent. And then we'll run this road over here, which of course breaks this power line. Which we will just run up over like so. Fantastic. And then we'll do something like this. Kind of like that. Actually, we'll probably get rid of this. Yeah, that'll be fine, I think. Okay. Hopefully, we won't have too many gridding issues. Yeah, I kind of thought this would be a, an issue here. Let's see about rerunning this. This particular road. Yeah, I feel like we gotta take this road out and smooth, I keep doing that, <laughs> smooth this terrain right here. We'll just see about getting a little bit more in there. There, that works. That's very nice. Slope too steep over here. We'll see about taking this up over here, perhaps. That slope too steep there. So, in fact, this here needs to be removed and smoothed out. So let's just see about getting a little bit more smoothness here. Because this is quite a big dip over here. Yeah, that works much better. Fantastic. 
they're still favoring this road, but now there are other other paths if they need to get up this way. And very soon we will be able to construct our passenger ports. Okay, that connects in. Hmm. Okay, this road, this section of road right here is actually not positioned correctly. Yeah, this is slightly too wide. You see that? It's one block too wide. We've got a pillar issue here. So we're going to need to knock that road back. And take this to here. Hang on, did that connect into the highway? Yes, it did. I did not want that. We've got a pillar there as well. So we'll just knock this whole area back. Bring this to here. And of course, space already occupied, so we'll have to go there. And then the real question is... Is that correctly positioned? I believe so. So we do something like that. And I think we're good to go there. And then we run this highway back in over here. Like so. And then as far as on-off ramps go, we need an off ramp here. And then an on ramp here. And that appears to be just fine. I would rather this road be straight, if at all possible. Or if not, that it curve down here. Yeah. That'll be fine. And now, this should connect in properly, except we're sloped too steep. Well, it's very difficult to see the terrain at night. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, that's kind of insane. Well, let's just go ahead and put our harbors in, shall we? Or, well, a harbor. We can't afford to do both. But we'll do a harbor up over here. And we're going to need to remove this road. Yeah, I want to remove... Hmm. We'll have to back all the way out. I want to remove this road for now. Like so. And we'll just put in this harbor. Right about... Here. And we'll put that road back in. Bring this road on up. And connect into there. And into... Actually... Maybe we should connect into here. Give ourselves a little bit of space over here. And of course, we will need to run our power lines slightly differently. About like that should be fine. Fantastic. Now we do have a little bit of demand for industry or offices. So let's just give them a tiny amount. Something like that should be more than enough. And it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.